Hello ladies and gentlemen, or should I say Guten Abend, Damen und Herren. Me, Matt, of course, back for another Faf Round Friday, and the game I'm looking at this week is 1916, The Unknown War, or 1916, Der Unbekannte Krieg, to give it its proper title. Now, we'll just go to English. This is the Danish-made game, except everything is in German. So, Sprache, that's for language. Start is start. Well, not everything. Controlling, obviously, is controls. I don't know why I said that with a weird accent there. The gist basically is a little indie game created by students at the National Academy of Digital Interactive Entertainment in Denmark. In it, you play a German soldier who wakes up in a trench to find something horrible has happened. That's pretty much all I know, really. So, without further ado, let. You know, I've already done that. Okay, can I? Oh. It's been a long day, folks. I think that means loading. Let's see how much of my secondary school German I can remember. Finder die Leiter. Yes, that was it. Right key. Here I am, in a trench. It's very grainy. I'm very much impressed by the lighting effects here. I've actually visited an old World War One trench. It was on a... Hello? Oh, must have just been the, the unceasing horror and chaos of war there. Yes, I've actually visited old World War One trenches. They were at Ypres in Belgium. And compared to those ones, these trenches seem a bit too tall. The one I visited, the tunnels were so low that I had to sort of squat and shuffle to get through them. And I was only a kid at the time. But so far, here wolves. Basically, I've just woken up, or, you know, emerged from some sort of shell shock induced, dead eyed, thousand yard stare. And there's war going on all around me. Can I. I'm sure I was able to crouch. Oh, no, I can put a gas mask on, though. Or I can light a flare. E, e interaction. Hold to take flesh. Interesting. Let's try putting on a gas mask. No, this must be an introductory tutorial section. That or I need to actually find a gas mask before I can use it. That man is probably strung out on some barbed wire with his guts hanging out. The First World War was not a pleasant event, ladies and gents. Oh dear. I have to keep going. If I retreat, I'll... What the... Buggery? And... Oh. Ah, a letter. Oh, Freiherr Theodor Zu. I, I'm rubbish at reading handwriting. The best of time. Liebstevater die Dinosauri. Well, you don't need to know much German to know that probably means dinosaurs. Hence, obviously. Oh, I see. Hence, why it said take flesh in the instructions because you can take people's arms and. Okay, so we're in World War One, and the trench has been invaded by dinosaurs. That's interesting. Okay, not quite what I expected. I expected something like the movie Death Watch. With, like, you know, the unceasing horrors of war have coalesced into, like, some sort of pure evil, man's inhumanity to man. We are the... Rah! Oh god, we are the real monsters! Ah! Ah, go away, go away! Ow! Flare, flare! Ah! Oh! Jesus Christ, go away! Go! This is not fair! Okay! Find the ladder! Try not to get munched by dinosaurs of all things! Not really sure what to make of the concept so far, if I'm totally honest. I'm in a World War One trench that has been invaded by dinosaurs. How they got here, I do not know. Oh, no crouch commands. Let's head back to that bloke. See if we can at least get past the dinosaur. I wasn't, yeah, I seriously was not expecting dinosaurs. Now I'm having flashbacks to 3D monster maze on the ZX Spectrum. Let's take this letter again, this is all in German. Not that you really need to speak a word of German to understand the word dinosaur when you see it. 
and that you can pull people's hands off. Okay, I'm ready now. I'm not just going to chuck this away like a pillow. Now, where did this bastard come from? No! Yes, feed! Feed! While I flee like the coward I am. Okay. Right. Well, he's eaten that, and I ran off in the other direction like an idiot. Thankfully, this man has another hand. Nope. Oh, I've taken a foot this time. There's not really going to be much left of this poor bastard if I keep doing this. So I'd better make it count. Go away! Run, 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 run. Maybe I can... Uh... Laudia... Oh, it's Bunker. Is that... Oh, Clau... Claudia. Claudia. Okay, what's here? I am severely winded. It's all very grey and sepia. Which makes no sense because they're two completely different colours. Bunker... What's round? Have I just gone in a complete circle? Oh, wait, there's another man here. Or is this the same man? No, it's a different man. There's two different men. No, nope, let me just pull your hand off, man. Or foot. Now, presumably, there are... Oh, I don't know. There's two different kinds of bunkers. Louisa and Wilhelmina. Hmm. So far, this game really reminds me of 3D Monster Maze. Oh! Okay, we do have to deal with the horrors of war as well. It's an old piano. No, that was probably stupid. Why did I do that? That's it, a mortar shell's gonna hit that piano, I know it is. Nope, that was a siren. No, so, technically I'm digging the aesthetic, definitely. Definitely captures the Oh That'll be gas. How do I put on a gas mask? I don't have a gas mask. I presume I'm going to have to find one. What's this? Aha! Um, what is that? It looks like a... Oh, they're flares, of course. As in, anyhow, as I was saying, I'm digging the aesthetic. Yeah, it's very, very much fits. Oh! Hello? Um, are you okay? Maybe I should just... Burn you? No, that was silly. I have no idea what, what this man is doing. So it's a very funky little jig. This game was recommended to me by a work colleague. So thank you, Jason. For confusing the hell out of me on a Friday. Oh, hello, I'd like to actually... Oh, for Christ. Obviously, it's a kind of a student project, so there's going to be some issues. I presume that letter is not worth reading. There's going to be some issues, obviously, but I like what they've done so far. The visuals have a very distinctive style to them. I think it's expressionist, although I'm not entirely sure. They've also done a good job at capturing what I imagine like the nightmarish, hellish experience of life in the trenches during World War One was actually like. I know it wasn't particularly pleasant. Not sure I'm too keen on the dinosaurs. And not just because, well, not just because they're running all over, all around the place like they own it. Which they sort of technically do. No, just, I mean, have got this really, really gorgeous, moody setting here. And you chuck dinosaurs into them. It's, why? It's... It's like putting ninjas into Citizen Kane. Sure, dinosaurs I mean, can be quite scary in the right setting, but it's just, they're just too incongruous in a game about the horrors of the First World War. I mean, something like that German soldier we saw earlier, the juddering one, that's more thematically appropriate and, and better conveys the ghastliness of what's going on. Dinosaurs feel a bit too pulp, and pulp doesn't belong in World War One fiction, at least in my opinion. Whoop. I had the dinosaur again. Okay, I'm now hopelessly lost. Do any of you... Ah, you have a gas mask. That is a gas mask. Give me... Oh. Oh, God. 
Right, I'll just run this way. Ow! Good grief. It there's me saying all the dinosaurs are incongruous. It's all a bit silly. Why are there dinosaurs in it? And they, it still made me jump like a child. So I sneak around here. It's very hard to actually... Yeah, bugger off. As I was about to say, it's very hard to sort of do, be stealthy. No. No. Oh, that. Clever girl. Well, there's no getting out of this one. Alright, well played. I think, yeah. I think that's a good enough portion to give you a decent first impression of 1916, Der Unbekannte Krieg, or 1916, The Unknown War. It is available on this server where it is completely free, so if you like really weird arty projects like this, I normally do, then you go give it a shot. You know, at least you will be expecting the dinosaurs. I can see myself giving this maybe a bit more time at some point in the future. I think next time I'll sit down and actively try to suspend my disbelief about the dinosaurs and properly sort of try and get immersed into it. See, lashings of atmosphere here, but the dinosaurs are a bit too zany for my tastes. But I'll give it another shot at some point in the near future. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. If you know of a cool, interesting, strange or quirky game you'd like to see me play, then feel free to suggest it in the comments below. Until next time, cheery byes.